this was our crew list for the passage. Maria and I just swapped watches and then we had the boys swap through every two hours. And we were going from Kuki, which is here. We wanted to go all the way down to Gogona, but the windows are really light, so we decided that we we're just going to come into a little bay just north of Buenaventura, which is here. All right, watch list is out. So you can tell here, this is where we did some uh, sailing. We went backwards and then over. And apart from that, there wasn't much more going on, unfortunately. Here, yeah, this is my old trek going to Ecuador. This one here. And then we now went along the shore. Down from here. In here. This is Buenaventura and we're going into this thing. I learned about Hershoff boats. I learned how to drive a 37-ton boat. Um, I didn't really learn how to navigate, but I learned some of the fundamentals. It's my first time out of the country. Whoa! So this is the very first time I've ever been an international traveler. I have one stamp in my passport. Probably the only one I'll ever get. So that was an awful lot of fun. Glad to be here with Nika and uh, Maria and Rude and Richard and Robert. And it's been a great trip. I couldn't have chosen four better friends to come with me. Ooh, looks like a lot of crazy current going on. YouTube channel called Sailing SD Slipstream and a year ago we all meet in the yacht club once once every Thursday night to watch Voice Spot Pirates and a year ago if I told the guys that I was going to be sitting in a cab with Voice Spot Pirates on my lap they would have laughed at me when I got there today. <laughs> and I think you also said that they said uh, they thought I didn't swear. Yes you're the most innocent uh, clean mouth uh, sailor they ever met. It's true, right? Oh, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> was uh, a slave driver. Uh, I had no idea. She, she looked so, so, so nice and, and caring on her videos. Turned out she's a regular Captain Bly. She was responsible for all the deck activity, pulling the anchor, you know, managing the sails, you name it on a boat, uh, on deck. Uh, Maria was piloting. Uh, and. Uh, Nico was uh, was giving us all instruction and managing the four of us, which none of us knew what we were doing. 
Yeah. This is big, heavy boat. It, it was exciting. One point seven, oh my god, we're honking. Wind is picking up a little bit. Look, we're doing three knots. Yoo hoo! Ride them, cowboy! Go, 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 go. One, I like the one nine seven. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> and sometimes when you get a gust, then you can go a little bit more upwind, but that's Yep, it's blowing me down. Cool. Yeah, <clears throat> we left Playa Chuchero this morning. Uh, when did we leave this morning? Around 10 or something? Yeah. So we left Playa Chuchero this morning at 10, around 10. And then we had 80 miles to go down to Isla Guaguna. And we had the wind on our nose again. We had a little bit of sailing, but not a lot, unfortunately. Um, now we're about two miles from Isla Guabona and we're just bobbing along. We switched off the engine because it's quite dark still. But the sun is going to come up in about half an hour or so. And then we're going to putter into the anchorage, check out what there is, and it see if we have to take up one of those mooring balls or if we can drop anchor and we're slowly starting to see the shape of the island supposedly it's going to be really beautiful snorkeling hopefully a nice beach and there's a, an old prison on the island so we're excited and what we're going to see tomorrow or today actually in a day in about two hours possibly The current is so strong that it's pushing us at 0.8 to 1.2 knots. So, kind of drifting towards the island slowly. It's about 10 minutes till Maria's watch, and then I guess we're gonna slowly start heading towards the island. Of course, now the wind is picking up. We're anchored here, more or less. And now we're going to take a little hike up the island to here to some beach called called Yundigua and then we're gonna do some snorkeling and take a launcher back to here. They think you're staff. Careful huh? they're probably probably pretty <laughs> sneaky. Apparently there is 18 different species of snakes four of them venomous. So we're gonna go and rent some boots now, I think. The 40 was a 42. Looks like too big. You got a 40? Yeah. Snake protection.
Well, it looks like we made it to the beach where we're gonna do some snorkeling now and we found already some really beautiful coral here on the beach. So let's see what the reef looks like. We've been hiking about an hour and a half through the jungle up and down. It's uh, quite something. <laughs> and now we're gonna go into the water. So on Gorgona they used to have a prison from the year 1960 to 1984 but they closed it down because of slight abuse of human rights and because of deforestation because they had been uh, keeping a fire going 24-7 so they'd taken down all the trees. Okay, now we're going to take a look at the prison. Can somebody take a picture of me inside? Many uh, trees on on the strip of this, I think. <coughs> well. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if you notice, but we ha you have no leaves. Yeah. Oh, come back. Oh. This is where they burnt down the whole jungle. Actually, 25. There might be a more. Look at those trees. Okay. The jungle is taking back the walls. Amazingly pretty. Reminds me of uh, Angkor Wat in Cambodia. And then you have the crazy jungle sounds in the background. This is the oven over there, under the tree. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, that's pretty. 2,500 bread a day. Yeah, that's a lot of bread, huh? That's a lot of bread. It's a tiny oven for... No wonder they deforested the whole island. This is the only, the most preserved place. You shouldn't let your whole bag to go to uh, places uh, with maybe not uh, a good, uh, a good uh, reputation as a country. But when I left for Colombia, almost everything was saying, almost everyone was saying, "Where are you going? Why should you do that?" And but I find that if you do normal, act normally, uh, it works out fine, and you. 
are meeting wonderful people and uh, wonderful places where nobody else has gone before. So that's what made this a great trip.